Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 because of this error code that is 0x80705B9. Then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can try to update. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update and over here you can see pause. So pause the update. And once pause, resume updates, and then you can check. Still not working. Start these services. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box. And then click on services. And then find app readiness over here. Make a double click on app readiness. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. Now make a right click on app readiness. And then click on restart. Now find Windows update. Scroll down. Make a double click on Windows Update, set this to automatic, click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click on Windows Update and then click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service, make a double click, again set this to automatic, Apply, Start. Now make a right click and then click on Restart. Now once this is done, now try to update your Windows 11 and then check, still not working. The next step is to run this command. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan and it will take some it will take some time and once the scan is 100% complete now copy the second command paste it on the same window once the second scan this scan is 100% complete over here now run the third scan now copy and paste it over here once the third scan once this scan is also 100% complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working use windows 11 installation assistant now for this you can open this link in browser now it will take you to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Click on download now Windows 11 installation assistant. Now click on this file. Click on yes to allow. And you will see update option or install option. You can install it from here and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Next step is to fix problems using Windows update. For this open Windows settings. Go to Windows update and then go to advanced option. Scroll down, go to recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is done, restart your computer. And then when you go to Windows update, update history, you will see the repair version of version 2 for H2 repair version. And once this is done, now you can click on check for update and you can try to install version 2.5 H2 and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run the CXE file. When you run the CXE file, click on accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next, select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop, save, and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, click on finish option and then let this close automatically. It will take a few seconds or maybe a minute to close. Once close, go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file, then make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow, click on next over here, click on accept over here. And here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So hit install. And after the installation, log into the computer and then you can try to update your Windows 11. And one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this version 2.5 H2 successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.